Hello, 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 hello. Happy Friday, Darlene A. Anderson here, entrepreneur, personal and professional development consultant, author of Not Without a Fight, 10 Ways to Win, When It Appears You've Already Lost, and your social media friend. Happy Friday, family. I am out here a little late, and I'll explain why in a second. Before I do, though, I want to acknowledge those that are visiting us for the very first time. Welcome. And as well as those that are returning viewers, I appreciate you for intentionally returning to the page and checking out Focus Friday. As a collective, I ask that we like, share, and subscribe accordingly and click that notification bell so you will be in the know of the latest happenings as they are happening. Okay, family. I came out here a little late because I wanted to talk about the obvious. No matter where you are in the United States of America, right, for the most part, today is June 30th if you're watching this for the premiere. If not, you guys, it's okay. But you, I, I need to hold you equally accountable for what we're going to talk about in a second. Today's June 30th, the last day of the second quarter of the year. What does that mean? For me, it means reflection, it means re-evaluation, it means determining what I'm going to carry into the third quarter, and these things start to happen literally around April for me, but it may trickle into the end of June, but all of those things, so reflection, re-evaluation, what am I bringing into the next quarter, what worked, what didn't, observations, all of that good stuff, right, data, all of that amazing stuff we look at as we're going into a new quarter, especially the third quarter of the year. Now, if you haven't done that already, there's still an opportunity to do just that. I invite you guys to check out two videos that we premiered a couple of weeks ago. Documentation is key and don't start until you finish. Again, documentation is key and don't start until you finish. We pinned it for you guys, so it's really easy to locate it and check it out. Within those two videos, I provided both personal and professional tools of advancement as it relates to how we can document our goals and how we can measure our goals. So we're looking at goals from the perspective of three categories, right? Your goal, your objective, and your task from top to bottom. Your goal, your objective, and your task. If you're considering what you should carry into the third quarter, I invite you to go back and look at the outcomes of those goals, objectives, and tasks. And it's okay if you haven't accomplished everything. It's a process, right? You don't have to do everything. You just have to give your best effort. And if you're deciding not to carry something into the third quarter, then consider why. It can't be because you just don't like it, because you're lazy, because you're ashamed, and various negative other aspects to consider. I really want you to tell me, and I mean, you can put it in the comments, or you can just say it to yourself, right? What was my reason for not carrying out these goals? Was it because I really tried my very, very best, and honestly, this is not something that I'm interested in pursuing anymore? Um, is it that I didn't get the support that I needed? What are your reasons? And if it's just, again, something very minimal, very trivial, so to speak, don't give up on yourself. Consider bringing those goals into the third quarter. And I'm going to tell you something else, fam. For those of you that maybe were like me some time ago that have to have multiple goals and multiple books and multiple points of reference, you can condense it and bring it all together. I'm going to give you an example. Let's say your goal is maintaining stable health. You have that as your goal. Your objectives can be a number of things because you're looking at your environment, you're looking at your finances, you're looking at education, all of that will become your objectives. So instead of having so many goals and so many things that you're focusing on, just bring it all together, condense it. Health, your objectives, education, finances, environment. And environment can be for some of us, if you change your environment, you definitely become less stressed, thus maintaining better health, right? And then you look at all of the tasks you need to do to ensure that. What would that be? Getting health insurance. Again, educating yourself more, getting a nutritionist, right? Going to the doctor, asking questions. If it's finances, getting a different type of job, 
all of that will become the legs, the foundation of your goal, so to speak. I gave that example because a lot of times I meet people like, oh my God, I have so much I have to do. I don't see how I can ever accomplish this, but you can accomplish it if you just condense it. If the main goal will help to satisfy everything, then bring all of those tasks beneath that goal and start digging into all of those tasks until you're at a point where you're like, wow, I've achieved my goal. It is very much possible, fam. So again, documentation is key and don't start until you finish. Check out those two videos. For those of you that are interested in receiving coaching from me, Darlene A. Anderson, I invite you to visit me at darlenesutopia.com. Leave your questions and I'll see how I can assist you in ensuring that in every way you are living your best life possible. As you're preparing for your barbecues, to go out and have a good time this 4th of July weekend, I pray that you remain safe and sound and I will catch you guys back out here for Motivational Monday. Take care.